So we're continuing with the porch build and we've got uh, got a few more, a couple of more holes dug. Got half of them dug, three out of six. And what we've done now is we've put some, uh, put a couple of stakes uh, on the, up by the house and a couple of stakes down near where the corners, the outer corners of the porch are going to be and attach some two by fours to those and up at the house the two by four is about where the floor the finished floor of the porch will be and we leveled those so out on the edge there is where the finished floor will be out on the, the outer end of the porch and that gives us a guide that we can use to figure out how deep the holes need to be. We're going to have 2x10 joists, 2x10 floor framing for this porch. So what we did was we put these scrap pieces on there and measured, put a mark that is 9 and a quarter inches below that 2x4. So that'll be the bottom of the floor joist. That'll be the bottom of the rim joist that sits on the pier. And then we can use that as a guide for how deep to make the holes. We're gonna be using, we're gonna have a, a footing that's eight inches thick and we're using eight inch, eight inch, eight inch high blocks to build the piers. So we wanna to try to make everything come out a multiple of eight so right now the depth of this hole which is deep enough to be below the frost line is about 48 inches below that mark so that'll work out nicely that one down there because of the grade it's going to be more like 52 but that works okay because then we can just stick a, a four inch block in there to to make it work so multiples of eight is good but multiples of four will work also if uh, if that's all the best we can do so I've got another one of those on this side we'll do the same over there to get those holes dug to the proper depth and then when we pour the concrete we can play a little bit with the depth of the concrete to get things um, really exactly the right height so that it all works out so the next step is to finish digging the rest of the holes and then just wait for an opening in the weather where we can pour some concrete footings. Then we'll build the piers and start framing the floor. So stay tuned.